about 70% of the sunlight coming into the Earth lands on the ocean. Most of that is captured in the surface layers of the ocean water in the form of heat. And we have cold water in the deep ocean. That temperature differential and with the gigantic thermal mass that's available in the ocean, you can generate huge, huge quantities of electricity. That's beautiful because we can extract that energy 24-7 and use that power anytime we want it, totally eliminating the need for an energy storage system. Our relationship with HNEI has been magnificent. They understand the engineering challenges and the practical difficulties of moving forward. Our focus in this project originally was not to produce power. It was actually designed and built so that we could study one critical component in the system, which is the heat exchangers. And we've got three different slots for heat exchangers here. We need the flexibility to be able to transfer heat exchangers in and out and test different versions of the same unit. Because ultimately what we're looking for is a high performance, low cost, and long-lasting heat exchanger. So the warm seawater has gone into the heat exchanger and heated up that ammonia. It's boiled it. So now it becomes really high pressure steam. So in our case, we use a refrigerant and it can actually boil and become very high pressure at room temperature. You take a low temperature heat source, creates a high pressure that propels through a pipe and comes into the turbine case right here. It spins the turbine and that rotational motion is ultimately what powers the plant. After the vapor leaves the turbine, it's converted into a liquid and drips down to the bottom where it continues the cycle. The waters around Hawaii are very stable in terms of temperature, and that allows us to extract a steady source of power year-round. It's high-quality power. The fuel is free, and in fact, our price of electricity for Otec is going to go down as our technology improves.